brought to you by Carriage Crossing Senior Living. Well, it's your opportunity to check out amazing pieces of art from local artists and support not only a ministry committed to helping out their community, but to also support the local art community. Joining me now from Arthur United Methodist Church with details on their upcoming Spring Community Art Fair are Pastor Jill Bunker and Ariana Cherry. Glad to have you both here with me today. Thanks for having us. Yes, yeah, so this is super exciting. Sounds like a lot of fun. It is. And something that so many people can enjoy. Tell me what people um, can look forward to at this upcoming Arts Fair in Arthur. Absolutely. Well, we have an array of different local artists that are coming to join us. I believe there's 11 mm -hmm. of them all together. And they can display whatever type of art. We are not limiting. They, if they're photographers, it can be photography. Uh, somebody has comic books, I believe, uh -huh. and uh, regular storybooks yeah. uh -huh. and that. And you can take some. And, and like jewelry, uh, we've got stain. I think it's uh, stained glass, right? Yes. And um, we have lots of painters and drawing. Um, I think, uh, what else? There's like, say about a little bit of everything, really. Yeah. yeah. And it's our first one, so I'm really excited to have this many at our first one. Oh, most definitely. Yeah. So how did this idea come about to do an arts um, fair? I've been wanting to have an art fair for a really, really long time. <laughs> and I've been waiting for an opportunity just like to do it. Because, you know, I've loved art myself since I was a little kid. And then when she came to R39 Methodist Church and I heard her husband was an artist too, I was like, oh, maybe we can do something here. Yes. So it's been kind of cooking in my head for a while. Awesome. And now <laughs> it's finally coming to fruition. Yes. Now, are we seeing a lot of just local artists, the amateur artists? Mm -hmm. Yes. What kind of artists are we amateur seeing? Amateur and probably a little bit of professional. Yes. Oh, that's very good. Now, all of these pieces that are going to be on display mm -hmm. are for sale, correct? Yes. And where will these funds go? Go towards what will that help them um, do? Probably within our like our ministries. Like we have the Wednesday night community meals. Um, we have God's closet. We have the food pantry. We have a youth program. Um, you know we have our you know the Bible studies. I mean just a little bit of everything. And she we used to do a, um, a Bible study too, like outside in the community as well. So if we need to pay for like study books, mm -hmm. you know things like that. Um, anyway, you know because at Methodist Church we're always all about serving the community. Yeah, absolutely. And um, Jill, what what do you hope people take away when they come and visit you guys, come check out the art, and just kind of the community and the experience of this event? Yeah, I hope that they have a good time and find out that there's so much more that you can do for your community um, by having and hosting these types of events. You you can have fun with an art program and uh, other programs too, I'm, I'm sure, because our fellowship hall is used very widely for different things and so I just hope they have a good time and if they haven't been into art that they get into art maybe uh -huh. and, and can be part of our next art fair. Yeah, absolutely. And can you talk me through a little bit of what you've brought here today that sure. people can check out? Um, the one that, I, she didn't tell me who it was, but I'm guessing it might be Deadpool from the comics. Okay. That is by Betsy Mars. She's from Shelbyville. Okay. Um, this one here is actually by our pastor, Jill Bunker. Oh, wow. Flower. And the doggy and the leaves and stuff, that is from Tammy Scott. And she is from Matt Toon. The glass works here, the stained art, is from Al Froman. He's from Arthur. And then this painting down here, that is from um, Kenny Bunker, which is Jill husband, Jill's husband. Cool. And then all the little ones, those are art trading cards that I have made that will be for sale. Oh, how does an art trading card work? Um, they're two and a half by three and a half inches. People would trade them. And actually, they, a lot of people sell them now. It's like miniature pieces of art. So if you can't say afford a big piece of art, it's a way to collect small pieces of art. Yeah, that's fun. And then maybe you see someone has one that you wanted and they bought it first. Mm -hmm. Like, hey, I have yeah. two of these. I'll trade you for that <laughs> <Yep>. one. <laughs> okay, let's talk all the details of the event, how people can attend and what it will look like when they go. Sure. Um, it is Saturday, um, May, it would be May 6th, from 1 o'clock to 6 o'clock. It's in our fellowship hall. So, you know, that door in the front by the fellowship hall will be unlocked. They can come on in. Um, there will be donations taken at the door, but they don't have to because it's another way we're doing it. It's free to attend. And so they can come and talk and browse all the art. Um, the artists do get to keep 100% of their earnings. Cool. So, and then, then they can go around and vote for multiple or whoever, you know, any of their favorite artists, so. So people can vote and, and choose their picks. Yes. Oh, that's very cool. So someone can walk away feeling really good at the end of the day knowing <laughs> yes. that their art was very well recognized. Yes. Awesome. Well, this is like a really fun event. Mm -hmm. I wish you guys the best of luck. Thank Clearly you. you have, you. Um, I'm sure this is a tiny glimpse of, yes, it is. <laughs> of all that people can check out. So people just have to go and see it this Saturday to mm -hmm. get the full experience. We appreciate you guys for making it over here today. There's a look at all the information 
announcement right there on your screen. Um, it's their first art fair, so definitely one to check out for sure um, this Saturday starting at 1 p.m. there in Arthur. We'll connect you with all the details of our, on our Facebook page after today's show. We do thank Carriage Crossing Senior Living for sponsoring our community segment today.